Yo, what is going on guys, my name is Defender Machine, and today, what I've got you guys, I want to say first of all before I get into anything, I haven't been able to upload that much in this past week because my internet's been awful and I haven't had an awful lot of time to make videos overall, so them two things colliding, them two problems, make it quite hard for me to make videos, but not just that, get them up on the internet for you guys to see. But anyways, if you can't tell what today's video is about by the title or the thumbnail of the video, what we're going to be looking at today is the future of Call of Duty and what futuristic theme they might be taking this year with Call of Duty Black Ops 3, because if you didn't know, there was a short description in the coding of the game when they released that little teaser trailer and it said that it'll be set in a dark twisted future where the lines are blurred between our own humanity or something like that and the technology we've created to stay ahead which means that Call of Duty will be kind of technology based now where technology is kind of taking over or it means that it's kind of hard to tell between that and it is heading in that direction for the future of Call of Duty. This doesn't necessarily mean that every Call of Duty from this game onwards will be a futuristic game because I don't think they do that. I think they will throw back to something like World at War or Call of Duty 4 eventually because they were like really fan favourite games especially Call Call of Duty 4, that was probably one of the favourite games and it was the first online good experience of Call of Duty, where it was kind of like the branching grounds of online for Call of Duty anyways, because that was like the starting ground, everyone really liked that game, it set Call of Duty off to a massive advantage, but now it seems like it's going in the opposite direction for some people at least, because a lot of people as of recently have been complaining about the new things that have been said to be in Black Ops 3. A lot of these complaints can range from anything between, oh I don't want to go into the future anymore, or oh I don't want exosuits anymore, and I want to go back to the old dynamics of Call of Duty where we we're just running around on the floor and soldiers were staying on the floor like they were meant to do in real life and then a minority of people actually wanted exosuits back in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 which I found a bit weird as well because I've searched sources high and low like Twitter and Facebook pages of big YouTubers and they've all been complaining saying oh no Call of Duty don't take this direction we don't need to be like Titanfall or Halo or another advanced warfare anymore we just want to go back to the simple engine of the game and run around on the floor because that's the simplicity of Call of Duty and that's how a lot of people enjoy it I enjoy advanced warfare personally but a lot of people seem to be going off it as of recently because if you think about it a lot of people this year have gone back to older Call of Duties like Call of Duty Black Ops 2, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and stuff like that, a lot earlier than they seem to do last year with Call of Duty Ghost and I think that's cause Call of Duty for years they've just been going up standardly up this little ladder and kind of progressively getting better and better and more complex but this year when it came to adding new dynamics into the game and a new movement system they kind of went on that ladder and did an exo jump up the ladder to the top of the ledge now I'm just kidding that was a really bad joke but exo suits they are a really big game changer and a lot of people actually don't like them and I'm honestly going to say now it's probably going to take years to learn how to use the exo suits on all the maps because if you think about it with an exo suit there's infinite possibilities and that's why a lot of people don't really want to see it return for a game that they're only going to play for one year which will be the newest Call of Duty if they don't enjoy it as much as the older Call of Duties which they go back to which is why they don't really want exosuits to be a Call of Duty thing because it's always been simple Call of Duty it's always been about kind of just going around killing people and getting your streaks and stuff and playing with a team but Call of Duty this year it's been about like kind of flying around the map sweating out skill based matchmaking all that other stuff like blah, 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 like real you know in your face all the time it's been really intense and a lot of people have felt like that relaxing feel of Call of Duty has just been completely obliterated this year, not just because of the new learning curve, but the skill based matchmaking that we all know is in the game and all know is intensively strong. If they say it's in all the Call of Duties, we can't really notice it. If it's in this Call of Duty, we can really notice it. So, how strong must it be in this Call of Duty? And we yet to know if it's going to return in Black Ops 3. So, now we're at this point where we're speculating stuff about Black Ops 3, like what the dark twisted future is going to be like that they're said to be in the game, or based around the game, and what the technology is going to be like in the game if it's said to be blurring the lines between humanity and and the technology itself, so technology will be taking over warfare or something like that, or at least technology will be a big part of Call of Duty in the future, and just for the record, in the future, like when they're making future Call of Duty games, I don't want them to keep making these giant leaps, because we need to get used to one game, first of all, Advanced Warfare has been kind of hard to get used to, because obviously, for the past 8 years or so, or 7 years or so, we've been used to the normal dynamics of Call of Duty just running around and stuff like I've said previously, and then we got kind of thrown into the mix of jumping about everywhere like bunny rabbits, and actually using our mechanics to do well rather than gun skill, so... Advanced Warfare is a pretty different game, but we've yet to know if they're going to take another giant leap with Black Ops 3, I hope they don't, I hope they can kind of, if they're going to do anything besides going back in time, because we obviously know it's going to be set in the future as of now, continue with the stuff that they've been doing so we can actually get used to these new mechanics that they've said to be in the game, which seem to be just like the EXO movements, but not quite there, or very similar like the controlled thrust system that they're going to be adding into the game of Black Ops 3, the jumps, the slides and the mantle and abilities in a multitude of combinations, which is a quote of the description of the movement system within Black Ops 3. Now if you think about it, this won't be 
anything we've been experiencing in past Call of Duty's except for Advanced Warfare, but it isn't another giant leap like Advanced Warfare, so it's not anything leading off from Black Ops 2 in terms of the movement system, I don't think, because in Black Ops 2 it was just like the dolphin dives and stuff, and that led off Black Ops 1. And don't get me wrong, that was fun, but it wasn't exactly a massively big game changer in terms of the performance on the game. You wouldn't see people dolphin diving around the map and getting these like insanely good kills just because they were doing a dolphin dive, but people in Advanced Warfare, they're getting a lot more kills and they're doing a lot better because they're actually able to jump, dash, and do all this other stuff and react in different ways. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think about the future of Call of Duty. Personally, I think if they keep going into the future or giving us things that we don't want in the community of like YouTube and getting things out there for advertising the game like on Twitter and everything, on social media websites, I don't think the game will be as big as it ever was like back in Call of Duty 4 or Modern Warfare 2 or Black Ops 2 or something like that because when that game was out, it thrived and there's still a lot of people playing Black Ops 2 now so it's kind of a situation where you want to be taking out a clipboard and taking down some notes for what you did well in that game and applying it to other games but Treyarch, like I said, they make good games all the time and I expect them to make something absolutely awesome this year with Black Ops 3 so let me know, like I said, down in the comments what you guys think about the future of Call of Duty slap a like on today's video if you enjoyed it and a favourite if you love it and I'll see you guys in the video tomorrow because I will be making a video on the world reveal tomorrow about Black Ops 3 and my opinions on this and kind of reflecting on this video so thank you all for watching, like I said before and peace out